We got the new Hecate, we got sick patches, we have the firmware 18.0.0 right now and of course Atmosphere is updated right now. Hello everyone, my name is you and this is Better Gaming. So after this video you will get to know how you can update offline to the version 18.0.0 so that your switch is on the very newest update plus how to update the custom firmware for that it actually also works with the homebrew at the very end. Now as you can see here I have a very very funny wallpaper video which I just found it on a wallpaper engine app from Steam and yeah it's just a, it's just a meme from Take Me On uh, on Dark, Dark Souls. I'm not sure how many of you knows it but it's very funny. But yeah to get to the point as you can see we, we have here like files which you can download um, from Telegram first things first. As you can see I just uploaded it here on Telegram. You can click on the link inside the description and if you are a patron supporter and have patron and discord connected and i have like many videos in which i show it you can like also get it from discord because it's like in a secret category because on discord we need to be a little more hidden so it's like a special perks for supporters now as you can see here as uh, once you have that downloaded you can like open that up and it will be in a zip file and what you actually want to do is just to click here, right, right click it, uh, click on WinRAR or zip file, whatever it is for you. And then at the very end, click on extract to 18.0.0 pre-release. You will get here a folder out of it. And as you can see, you will have like all files here inside. Security is inside, atmosphere is inside, Hecate is inside, sick patches is inside so that the games work. And at the very end, you will have the firmware 18.0.0 if you would want to up date offline yes and once you have that all done you can like actually connect your micro SD card or your switch with your computer and I'm going to do that right now quickly and what you want to do is like put all those files here inside the root of your micro SD card and it will ask you if you want to replace stuff and you will need to say yes Oh, next to all of those information, I just wanted to inform every one of you who has like right now their switch brick because you updated too early. Yes, it will fix it. So after you after you put it like all those files here inside, your switch should like actually work once again. Now, as you can see, click here and replace the files in the destination. And I already did that, of course, because I always check if everything is all right. Then once you did that, you can like right click here on the switch says D and eject it, put it back into your switch and start your switch into Hecate. All right, guys. And once you are here inside Hecate, you want to click here on tools and then arch bit and then fix archive bit. And this is something you always want to do once you like transferred any sort of files into your micro SD card. To your switch newly because there can happen so many different things that will just like destroy files or corrupt files and this here will like fix every problem which you will have all right and once it's done it will probably take one to two minutes max you can like close it go here back to the home menu and then once again like just launch your emu mmc if you have one i hope you have one if not then you can like simply also click on sysnet but i will go right now into my emu mmc uh, after you've put like everything from the folder inside your switch it should work for everyone but there are sometimes like also errors and I will show you at the very end of this video uh, how you can like fix the most common errors. Alright once you're here inside and you want to update your uh, OFW like original firmware so that's like the switch here is on version 18.0.0 you want to go to the album for that so that we are here in the homebrew menu and then afterwards um, you want to go to daybreak which is here as you can see you can click on it you will need to click on install and then afterwards here firmware 18.0.0 click on that with a then wait a little moment and click here on continue there we go then preserve settings and then install fat32 plus xfat and then continue what it will do right now is like updating the 18.0.0 update of the switch itself and since we have like the updated custom firmware files it will actually support it so once that is done we will click on reboot and here will here i will show you quickly the very first problem or error which will pop up for most guys of you if we right now start the custom firmware emu mmc right now the switch is on 18.0.0 there we go as you can see we have here already a little error as you can see here stands program ID 01 many many zeros BD 00. 
Now, what we need to do is actually click power for rebooting the switch. Then you want to connect your micro SD card with your computer, or you can do it like me over Hecate. I will just use a micro SD to USB and have that connected to my computer and click here on tools, USB tools and then SD card and it will connect it like directly to my computer. As you can see, it will open up here the folder. Then what we want to do is click here on atmosphere, then contents. And what we want to do what we want to do is to delete this here, as you can see, we have zero, 01, many, many zeros, BD00, zero, zero, like the program ID before, and we click here on delete, all right? And this is like, like, like this, you can like always delete 90% of the errors, you know, like check the program ID, what is standing there, go to atmosphere contents. This is like the very, very first thing every one of us is like doing it actually. So if you are new and you are like, oh my God, why do I have so many errors, etc. You can like do this all the different, uh, like all the, all the times when you have like some, uh, some errors or problems with your switch, you can always do this. Now, once we eject it here, as you can see, we can, we are able to click here on close. Once again, close, home, launch, custom firmware. And All right, as you can see, we have another problem, but I already saw like this folder inside the contents folder. As you can see right now, it is 42, many, many zeros and then 10, okay? And this is this has nothing to do with uh, how unstable the package is, which I've done, etc. It is more likely that uh, the apps which you have already installed on your Switch are causing these problems. And this is something every one of you needs to go through for that it actually will work once again. So what I'm doing right, right now again is tools, USB tools, SD card. Go here into the folder which will pop up into atmosphere, contents, and then 42 many many zeros 10. Then delete it. Yes. Once it is deleted, we can like eject it again and try again if this pops up. Here, close, close, home, launch, and then custom firmware emu MMC. And let's hope that it will work this time. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty good that this happens right now because I finally can show it to you. I I really, really want that every one of you is understanding this, uh, those things like a little bit more. You can see we, we were going right now a little much further and we still have like one problem and this here is, I know it for a fact, this is the themes. If you have like themes installed, then you will always get this, as you can see here. It is zero, one, I'm not sure, one billion and one thousand, as you can see. Zero, one, many, many zeros, one thousand. So what we want to do um, is to click to click the power button once again. And then once again, tools, USB tools, SD card. Then atmosphere, contents, and what it was, it was this one here. Zero, one, many zeros, 1000. Yes, delete. Um, once again, we want to eject it. Try again, close, close, home, launch, and then custom firmware emu MMC. So, I think right now this should be everything. We will check it right now very, very quickly. Okay, and once we're here inside, as you can see, I have no theme anymore. This is because we deinstalled the theme, but everything is right now working. If I click on, on album, I will get into the homebrew menu. And if I click on a game, it will start. And all of this here right now, if I go into the system settings, is on the version 18.0.0 with Atmosphere on the version 1.7, I wanted to say. Yes, guys, so you have right now everything installed. Now guys, what else I wanted to tell every one of you is that you actually should wait until I have like the mecha package updated for the version 18.0.0 because I think Tesla won't work on 18.0.0 and many others, uh, other apps like Mission Control uh, in which you can like use like your controllers and like, I'm not sure, like many, many aren't working at the beginning of a new update because they all need to like update their program. Not all, but many of them. So what I wanted to say is that it actually makes no sense to update right now on the version 18.0.0, but I wanted to tell everyone that you can like actually do it because like many have like the problems at the moment that they can't go inside the switch. So what I actually wanted to tell every one of you um, for the next one to two weeks is to downgrade actually once again to 17.0.1 and you can like do this if you just um, download like the package of mine which I have here 
inside Telegram, you will just need to scroll all the way up once again. And there you will find like most likely the version 70.0.1. Maybe I will like re-upload it. You will find it. You will just need to find for the packages. Once you got this, you, you will just need to put it like inside the root of your micro SD. And afterwards you need to redo like everything like we did with the version 18.0.0 on Daybreak. But yeah, you can like play your games on version 18.0.0. You have Atmosphere which is right now supported for it and you should be actually also good to go. If it's like if it's like too much work for downgrading once again, then just wait one to two weeks until I have like the mecha package updated and then you can like just put everything once again back in there so that it will work actually. Alright guys, I really 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 hope that you liked this video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you aren't right now and I hope I'll see you in the next video. My name is you, I love all of you. Peace.